12 News is your local election headquarters with Rhode Island's primary election now just two days away. The candidates for governor are making a final push for votes, one of them with the help of a very famous name. 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi joins us now from the campaign trail. Democratic candidate for Governor Helena Folk says she has the momentum heading into Tuesday's primary, and today she got a boost from the most powerful woman in the Democratic Party. Good afternoon, everyone. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi urging Rhode Island voters to back former CVS executive Helena Folks for governor. As governor, she will not only be a governor, a job creator, she'll be a job attractor of people, of companies to Rhode Island who respect her role, which is well acclaimed in the private sector. Pelosi becoming emotional as she explained their personal connection. Personal because Helena's mother was one of my dearest friends, the first person I met when we both showed up in college. Folk says she's received a surge of new support since Tuesday night's live televised debate on WPRI 12. A lot of undecideds are shifting every night at 10 o'clock. We're looking at our numbers and it's very exciting, right? Now. Incumbent Governor Dan McKee also taking folks more seriously. On Friday, McKee released a new TV attack ad targeting her. And Helena Folks is running misleading ads with money she made pumping opioids into our homes. But McKee's commercial quickly drew a rebuke from retired CVS CEO Tom Ryan, who told 12 News, quote, a sitting governor publicly attacking and slandering the largest company in Rhode Island in an attempt to win an election is unconscionable. McKee's campaign manager fired back, saying, quote, Let's be clear, our ad is about Helena Folks' failure to address the opioid crisis. Democratic candidate Nellie Gorbea also having a busy weekend with two get-out-the-vote rallies. And I'm proud to have the support of so many great men and women in the labor movement here in Rhode Island supporting my candidacy for governor. Republican frontrunner Ashley Kalis gathered with her supporters in Warwick. She says she's ready to take on any of the Democrats. It is career politicians and insiders who are beholden to special interests and will sell out the state, sell out the future of your children. Two other Democrats are also on Tuesday's primary ballot, former Secretary of State Matt Brown and activist Luis Daniel Munoz. You can check your voter registration status and find your polling place at vote.ri.gov. In Providence, Ted Nisi, 12 News. And count on 12 News for in-depth coverage on primary night Tuesday. Tracking all of the races, we'll have updates when the polls close, followed by our election night special at 9 o'clock on WPRI 12. Then you'll find complete coverage on 12 News at 10 and 11, and of course, always on WPRI.com.